So, I wake up this morning and there's this message from Malware Hunter team saying, you might want to look at this ransomware, it references you. And I was like, wait a minute, what? So I've grabbed the sample and let's see what it does. Very interestingly, it calls itself Biden and this is actually a PowerShell script. It takes a moment and then there's this readme file, which looks like a ransom note and references the pcsecuritychannel.com and the pcsecuritychannel.hotmail.co.uk. Funnier is that there's this nice picture of Joe Biden on the desktop saying, attention, all your important files were encrypted by the Biden ransomware team. Like, why do you have to associate me with Joe Biden? Come on, man. But the funniest thing is, if we take a look at the uh, documents folder and uh, we look at our files, they're not actually encrypted. But the files in downloads are. So this is kind of like Biden's border policy, I guess. <laughs> it lets a lot of stuff slip through. Like our pictures are totally fine. Now it also includes a uh, YouTube video. And guess what? This is my video on how to decrypt ransomware. So, which by the way, is a great video. You should totally watch this if you're ever affected by any kind of ransomware. It links to a lot of great resources on how to get your data back. Now, last time I remember a ransomware author trying to reference a security researcher in the ransom note to make the victims hate them or just to annoy them was Fabian Wozar, CTO of MCSoft. And he was one of the OG researchers who was able to break down, decrypt ransomware and help people get their data back without paying the cyber criminals. So I guess having my video and uh, references to my website being present in a ransomware adds me to that hall of fame. <laughs> now, just to be extra clear to anybody who's not aware of what's happening here, I have obviously nothing to do with this piece of code that was written by probably some kind of troll or cyber criminal. We don't know, but it's not uncommon for them to kind of reference researchers that they're annoyed by in the hopes of annoying them back, I guess. So I'm glad to see that my educational content is having that kind of impact. Another thing to note, is neither of these addresses that are mentioned here actually belong to me. So do not email them. The only way to contact me is via Discord or via the website, the pcsecuritychannel.com. But it will definitely be interesting to try to figure out where this came from. Now, at the moment, this threat is detected by 21 engines on Virus Total. But when I saw it this morning, it was only at four. So the engines were kind of slow to pick this up. Jaffa Cakes in our community was obviously very quick on it. Now, if we look at it in graph, it does contact a bunch of domains, including Discord. And one of our community members also uncovered this beautiful URL, the Joe Biden ransomware gang. Your privacy belongs to us. It's apparently embedded within the PowerShell script. Curious about what might be discussed about this on the dark web. Did a search for Biden ransomware, selected certain severities in Flare, which is the sponsor for this video. And as you can see, we've got a full listing of references that might be relevant. So we've got Telegram chats where people are talking about lockbit source code being sold and available in three to five minutes via PayPal transfer. So this is how a lot of cyber criminals operate, by the way. They sell their source code on the dark web and then somebody picks it up, they modify it, add their own ransom node, their own desktop background, and boom, you've got a new ransomware. So in a lot of cases, it's not people making these threats on their own even, they are simply repurposing code that was written by a common group of cyber criminals. And we can also do a search for the PC security channel in discussions on dark web. So you can tell if somebody's trying to target you, you might need to restructure it a little bit. As you can see, we do have some references on Crime Market, on GitHub. Thankfully, most of these are benign, but if my details were leaked somewhere, I would be able to find it via the search. And they do have a live monitoring feature as well, which is going to notify you about the number and severity of breaches. We've also got uh, a general exposure score that tells us how much we're being talked about. So if you're interested in exploring the dark web, definitely check out Flare using the link in description. You can do your own search for pretty much anything you like. Just go to flare.io slash PC security and you can get access for free and do your own research on the dark web or click on link in description. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you find all the educational stuff I've made on ransomware helpful. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.